Hello everyone. Today I actually wanted to show you guys how to use TestBrite's MCP tool to help your coding agent to achieve a better accuracy and deliver what you really wanted to code and make them achieve almost 90% plus accuracy, make your coding agent way more smarter and fix all those bugs and issues of your current project. The first step you're going to do is successfully install TestBrite MCP. So if, if, for example, I'm using my cursor, and if you're successfully installed, you will see TestBrite MCP plugin will be successfully displayed here in your MCP tool configuration. After that, it's quite simple. We can enable our cursor's new chat, create a new chat, and then simply put something like this. Hey, can you test this project? I just... uh drag this project here for me using uh, test spy you can use different models based on what you prefer we suggest the models higher than cloud 3.7 here i will use this cloud 4 in this demo okay and by the way right now i've already successfully run my local project here as you can see this is the front end this is the backend, which is running on my localhost 4000. And I've also opened it here. So on localhost uh, 5173, we have this app running. It's a web app, but you can see lots of the things are broken. The image is not showing up. The purchase button isn't showing up. Uh, we do have a logging feature. The category button isn't really working. Logging, yes, you can click in, but yeah, seems like lots of the features are not really working correctly. Okay, uh, but don't worry, TestBright will help you handle all these things. So uh, just press enter, and then your coding agent, your ID, will actually know what to do and what tool among the, our MCP plugin to invoke. Cool. The first tool your ID will invoke is the test by bootstrap uh, tool. You can simply click run and you will be directed into a configuration page. Here, if you're using some testing account uh, to log into the portal to perform some later operations, then you might need to share those information with us as well. For example, here, I'll just share example at google.com testing uh, password is one two three four five six seven eight nine nine. Local development endpoint is fifty one seventy three. Correct. Here, a very important step is you might want to upload your product specification doc. Um, if you don't have it, it's also fine. We'll generate a good one for you in later steps. But if you already have a existing PRD document, product requirement document. Uh, illustrating what is the overview of your product, what is your user storage, what is the functionalities you wanted to build, then this is a very good chance here to share all those information with our AI so that in later steps, the AI might have better performance or better accuracy to test against your existing project. Here, I would just try to upload this document into this page. Okay. So it's successfully uploaded, and I can just simply hit continue to proceed. All right, upload successful configuration down, and then Purser will continue to call the second tool, which is generate code summary. Because we, our AI, our testing AI, will also need some of your code, existing code base information to help it to generate next test plan and also corresponding test, test code. So here in this step, we're asking Cursor to help us high level quickly summarize what is this existing code base about, what features you already implemented. And we will wrap all this information and then create a normalized PRD document for you. Yeah, so you can see here, Cursor is trying to generate a code summary and will share this information with us. We don't directly look at your code base or read your code or store anything in our server side. Uh, so you don't have to worry about any security concerns. Yep, so after that, you can 
just say yes, please, to go ahead with the next step. And the next step is generate our test sprite, normalize the PRD. So if, for example, in the first step, if you don't have a very good PRD, or if your product requirement doc is pretty high level, not really detailed, it's fine. You don't have to worry too much. After calling the step in the project, you will see a test sprite test folder. Inside the folder, you will see a standard PRD JSON. And that is the new normalized PRD doc that we generated for you. Yeah. And then after that, cursor will continue to call our next tool, which is test bar generator front and test plan tool. In this tool, we will generate a very comprehensive test plan based on your existing uh, code base information and also our normalized standard PRD doc and then create automatically a comprehensive test plan for you, which could contain multiple test cases, and uh, it will be used later for test code generation. All right. After one or two minutes, you will be able to see a JSON, front-end test plan JSON like this in your project, and you will see multiple test cases, including the title, description, category, priority, and all the testing steps attached to this specific test. For example, for this single project, we have generated almost 18 test cases in total. Some are functional, some are UI, some is about security, error handling, so different categories are covered, edge cases also covered, yeah. And then, after reviewing the test plan, if everything looks good for you, you can continue with our testing procedure and start with the test code generation and execution process. Here we will generate the command for you so that it will start to execute all those tests in our Cloud Sandbox region. You can also see the results in your test bar account. For example, after I log in into my account, I'll actually see lots of test is being generated, is running. Yeah, so you will also be able to see the progress in your test bar account. Okay, after waiting for some minutes, we can see our execution of all the test generation and execution has walking to an end. And here in our project, uh, we have received a bunch of test cases created from our AI, from our server side. We have sent all these test cases back to your local project. We can see each one contains hundreds of lines of code and uh, have good, very good annotations, uh, very good assertions. Uh, Front-end testing, we're using default playwright framework. Yeah, this one is very complex. Altogether, we have created almost more than 2,000 lines of code for you, and also including a test report, which is being generated right now. Okay, so yeah, we can see here, you will receive a very good comprehensive test report. Cool. So this is our test report. We can see uh, it is generated based on our requirement. So in our PRD doc, we have sp specified that we need a good user authentication implementation. And it seems like all corresponding tests have been generated and all passed. Product category management seems like also passed. Purchase and checkout system also passed. Order history management also passed. Oh, sorry. Uh, and main panel product management seems to have several test cases failed. Security test one failed. Yeah, several failed. And overall, you will see the coverage and metrics are here. 61% of product requirements have been tested successfully. 44% of tests passed successfully. And uh, in total, eight failed. Majority of the failures are actually happening um, at a main panel product management feature. And also there are some user interface and user experience failures. So this is basically where the cursor can basically improve. And then we can ask cursor, hey, can you fix the code base based on this test of result? And then you have finished the loop. Cursor will look at our test report, our test cases, also all the test code, and then start to modify all the corresponding error code.
or buggy places. Yep. So that you can see it started working. Yep. It is trying to fix admin page component based on our test result. Adding the missing feature, fixing all those buggy places. Yep. This is all done automatically based on our test result. No manual engagement, no prompts, no guidance feeded from the human side, from our side. Yeah, it is also trying to modify UI and some UI, UX issues. Let's see the result. Perfect. So the cursor has finished applying patches. And right now it is logging all those patches, trying to summarize all the fixes it already applied. All right, let's try to rerun this whole website and see what it looks like. Cool. Yeah, right now you can see uh, we've fixed the layout. The buy button is gray and it's clearly say that you have to log in first in order to see. Okay, let's try it. We use the example password and account. All right. After logging in, you will see the buy button and you can successfully purchase. The admin feature is the main disaster when we first opened this project. And right now, the magic just happened. You can delete existing product. You can add it. For example, change the name. Update. Showed up successfully. You can go back to the main portal. Successfully refreshed. This is the magic. This is what TestBright is bringing to the industry. It will make your coding agent way more smarter and deliver exactly what you want. Let your AI code, we will make it work. Thanks for watching.